ratio of the relative abundances so i can I, so i can say that uh, i can use my calculator and you can also calculate while i'm using my calculator i it's 100 into 0 0.66 divided by 1.1 into 14.5 in brackets so what i get is 4 point one three seven nine something and it keeps going on like this so uh, it's a, it's a large decimal value but obviously I cannot have 4.1 carbon atoms in my molecule uh, for obvious reasons so actually what I do is I round this off to 4 the nearest whole number to this I round this off to this is the rounding of sign. I round this off to 4. So actually, I have 4 carbon atoms in each molecule of the compound. So now I know the value of n. n is equal to 4. And just by using the, this equation, I can calculate the number of carbon atoms. It's very easy. The information will be given to you in the question. So don't worry about that. All you need to do is perform the calculation. Now, let's move on. So we even have an M plus 2 peak and as we go further you will also see an M plus 4 peak. So actually uh, what this M plus 2 peak is it arises when we have a halogen like chlorine or bromine. We only need to learn chlorine and bromine uh, for our syllabus. We don't need to go uh, learn other halogens and their uh, masses. We only need uh, chlorine and bromine uh, for the M plus 2 peak. So if you see this point, uh, if you just look at this, uh, this part, the, the two isotopes of chlorine. So, as you know, isotopes are atoms of the same element with different number of neutrons. Uh, this is Cl35, this is one isotope. This is Cl37, this is the other isotope. And you can see that the difference between the masses of these two is is two so two atomic mass units and you can see that this peak is called m plus two now start brainstorming and try to understand that what does this m plus two represent so for example i have chloroethane which is ch3 ch2 cl for example i have chloroethane and uh, I, if I have to, uh, I can, and I can write 35 over here. So this is chloroethane with the 35 uh, chlorine isotope. But I can also have a chloroethane molecule with the Cl37 isotope. So I can have these two uh, combinations. So this gives me the M peak, the, uh, the Cl30 with the Cl35 isotope. This gives me the M peak, and this gives me the M plus two peak because the uh, because since the difference between the masses of these two isotopes, the relative atomic masses of these two isotopes is uh, two atomic mass units. The difference between the relative molecular masses of these two molecules will be two atomic mass units. So I'll have an M peak and an M plus 2 peak. And keep in mind what I've written over here, the percentage abundance. So I know that the percentage abundance of the Cl35 isotope is 75%. You have to learn this value, 75%. And the percentage abundance of the Cl37 isotope is 25%. So this means that the Cl35 isotope is more abundant than the Cl37 isotope and we will look at this in our in our mass spectrum. So again I have a mass spectrum over here. I'm making a small mass spectrum this time. Uh, this is my relative abundance in per uh, measured in percentage. I have my uh, 
uh, mz which is simply the molecular mass of the fragments this will be my tallest